This landscape is at the edge of the forest. It faces all the human-animal conflict and uh, the farm we are standing in is an outcome of that. It also represents the degradation we've seen through uh, our agricultural practices over thousands of years and especially over the last uh, few decades. It's on the, uh, on the plateau that is coming down from the mountainside, so there has been a lot of erosion because it's also a bit rocky soil. So you can see that through the years, a lot of the topsoil has gone. I realized that I was not a person who would continue to live in a city and that life was definitely not attractive for me. I just wanted to you know, be on a piece of land and when I stopped pushing for it, things fell in place and, and I ended up being on this land. I was going to be on this land. ಮಾಡಿ <laughs> Permaculture in that sense is like a, it's not a methodology, it's a, it's a design science. The principles can be applied to any context. We solar pens. We have solar pens in the solar So right now what we're seeing here is, you know, a project of social permaculture. So this is a collective of farmers who are coming together and tying up all their lands to implement water harvesting strategies. First, we do a trench. 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 We do a then the second step is to green up the space, to build a vegetative system. And we're starting off with trees. And most of these trees are nurse species, pioneer species, and forest, timber, and fodder species. So the agroforestry is, I would say, one of the pioneer working systems for, for permaculture because it ultimately it has to do with land and land sort of remediation. Almost 1,000 uh, uh, saplings na plant made in Belge and the potential is there. I think we are slowly trying to uh, bring it closer to the its own potential. This is a amla jenaka sigatte, arane gala santati idhicha gatte, malay belatte. You know, you, you see the dif difference in the landscape in the forest and here. And it's very evident uh, that uh, nature has taken a backseat here. So, can you, can you reimagine uh, agroecology in sync with the forest? So, this is a great experiment to do. This is a philosophy. We have a lot of roots in the roots. We have a lot of roots in the roots. But we still have our traditional systems, and it's still, I think, part of the psyche, so it wouldn't take long to go back. The uniqueness of this project is not about just reforesting the land, you know, it's about also a community regeneration. You know, yes, ecological regeneration and ecology is not devoid of the community. It's an inclusive process that we're using. So we're looking at a kind of a ripple effect, you know, where we're starting with a few farmers and then they, they're teaching other farmers and then there are more and more. And it can, it has a potential of becoming exponential. <laughs> We are so individualized in every way. So at least in some aspects, we are going to be able to get a lot of money. I think that is where you know, there is hope that humanity can still you know, do better, bigger things. We are going to be able to get a lot of money. We are going to be able to get a lot of money. We are 
ಇಲ್ಲಾಂದ್ರೆ ಒಂಥರ ಒಂದು ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟು ಕಲಿಬೋದು ಕಲಿಯೋಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ವೇದಿಕೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಈ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಮೈ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ಕೇಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚ್ ದ ಹೋಪ್ ಈಸ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವೇ ಅಬೌವ್ 